Hi, welcome back to Steam Powered Family. Today we're building a heritage toy or a folk art toy, an acrobat. As you can see, when you squeeze the bottom of this toy, it'll dance and jump and do different tricks. So we're going to gather up our supplies and there's a list on the website and the diagrams here with the templates are also available on the website. So you can grab all of those or you can just eyeball it based on what we're showing you here. We're going to take some jumbo craft sticks and we're going to make the body parts for our little acrobat first. So we're tracing out the shapes of the arms, legs and torso and the torso includes the head. And you can notice that we also have some dots there where we're going to be drilling some holes. We're going to grab a box cutter and we're going to very carefully cut out these shapes. If you're working with a younger group of kids that you don't quite trust with the side cutters, you can pre-cut and prepare these pieces. When they're finished, we sanded them down really quick and then we're going to use a drill or a screwdriver to pre-make the holes in each piece. So here you can see we've got our body, two arms and two legs. We also have uh, three pieces of dowel that are square and have been cut to 30 centimeters for two of them and one to six centimeters. And then in this diagram, we have this on the Fit website as well, we're going to measure out and pre-drill our holes for each piece. So we've got our top holes there and then two bottom holes and then the six centimeter piece has a hole on either end. We're going to go ahead and paint each of our pieces to make them look cool and your kids can get really creative with that. And then we're going to use some wood beads and a toothpick. And we're going to add the wood bead and glue it onto the toothpick. And we're going to do that for two toothpicks because we need these to be our hinge points for the hips and shoulders of our acrobat. We're going to let that dry for a couple of minutes. And then we're going to come in and measure. So we want to measure it out so that it's one centimeter from the bottom of our wood bead. And we're just going to make a little mark there with a pencil and we're going to start assembling our acrobat. You want to make sure when you put the acrobat onto your toothpick that it spins really freely. If it doesn't, go through and make the holes a little bit bigger. So we're going to put on our arms and torso here. We're going to trim off a little bit of extra and then add a bit of glue and then another wood bead. Now it's really important with this step that you make sure you leave a little bit of a gap. He needs to be able to freely move our acrobat so he can do all of his great tricks. Clean up any glue so there's no friction and he can move really smoothly. Put his arms up like that and then just let it dry. And now we're going to add the legs. So we're gonna do the same thing with the legs on the bottom. We're gonna trim off that extra, add a little bit of glue and a wood bead. And again, we want to make sure we leave a little bit of a gap so there's lots of room for those hips to move as well when he's doing his tricks or her. Now, we need to make a quick needle threader. If you don't have one, you can grab a little piece of thin copper wire and just make a little loop out of the copper wire. That'll work as well. Now we're going to assemble our frame. We're using a drill. You can also use a screwdriver with your group. Start by putting the screw through the top hole and then screwing it into place with the little six centimeter piece in the middle. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So as you can see, we're attaching this on the part of the frame where we had the single hole. And now we're going to flip the frame around and we're going to attach our acrobat. So this threading process can be a little confusing, but once you see it, you'll see it's actually quite simple. We're going to go through the bottom hole and then we're going to go through the bottom of his our acrobat's left hand and then we're going to add a wood bead onto the thread and then we're going to go through the top hole of the right hand. So you can see we're just going to put it through there and then we're going to do the top hole on the right hand side of the frame. So we're just going to push that through there and it's really important you do this threading correctly so your acrobat will work properly. So we're going through the frame there and now we're going to go back through the bottom hole on the right hand side. There you go and we're going to go through the bottom hole of the right hand and then this is where you need that needle threader and we're going to pull the thread back through that wood bead. So this is where you just put the needle threader through the hole, loop the string through it and then pull it through. 
And now we're going to go through the top hole on the left hand and then the top hole on the left side of the frame. So as you can see, it kind of crisscrosses through the middle of the hands at that bead point. So now we're going to tie off that thread and we'll just zoom out a little bit here so you can see a bit more about what's happening. There we go, give you a little bit better view. So there's our Acrobat attached to their frame. So we're gonna tie it off. Now don't tie it off too tight. If it's too tight, your Acrobat won't be able to work. So you wanna make sure that you put a nice secure knot in there without any inward pressure. Now just grab the bottom of your frame and squeeze and your Acrobat should dance. If you have any issues with it, you can check our troubleshooting video to see how you can fix your Acrobat and get him dancing. There's also the science explanation of how this simple machine works, which is exactly what this project is. If you want to learn more about STEM activities and educational resources, visit steampoweredfamily.com. Have fun. Bye for now.